Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video I'm going to give you six examples of very successful Facebook ads that have all been run in 2019 and have all performed very, very well. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go through my five-part Facebook ad template, which is a document you can download right now for free. Just click on the link in the video description. I'm going to go through the six ads that we've included in here. As I said, they're ads that have been run. Um, they've all done very, very well. They're all successful Facebook ads. And I'm going to sort of break down each one, explain how it worked, why it worked, and the various elements that are important so you can obviously model from that and look to use some of these techniques in your own ads and help improve their performance. So as I said, if you want to go through this in your own time and, and go through stuff um, uh, reading it, then of course you can go ahead and download the template, but I'm going to go through it just here and show you the various elements and, and why they've worked so well. Okay, so with that said, let's uh, let's get into it. So there's a lot of information about us at the beginning. Don't need to worry about that. Just going to scroll down. Now, the first ad we come to is one for an interior designer. So let's have a look. Obviously, we've blurred out the specifics about the company um, to protect our client information, our client's information, all that sort of stuff. But I'm going to go through some of the elements. Okay, so this is what the ad looks like. Now, the first thing, whenever you're creating a Facebook ad, you're looking, how can I create this successful Facebook ad? Is what are you actually offering in your ad? It's something that almost no one asks me about through my Facebook ads mastermind group or through my YouTube channel, anything, no one says, what should I be offering with my Facebook ads? And that's a big mistake. They want to focus on the settings and, and you know targeting options, copy techniques, things like that, which are important. But the single most important thing with a Facebook ad is that you offer something that people actually want. Now, this is an interior design company. They want interior design clients. Um, they are simply offering you can see here, free interior design consultations. So one of the designers will meet with their prospects, they will go to their property, they will take a look around, see what it is they want doing to their property, and that is the free consultation. From there, they will then look to progress them on to becoming a full client. Now, for those people that are worried about, I can't give away something like a free consultation, I can't dedicate that amount of time, my first piece of advice would be raise your price. If you are a service provider, you want to be able to offer something like a free quote, a free consultation, a free strategy session, something along those lines so that people can test it out in a very low risk way. Signing up for a free consultation, if someone's thinking about hiring an interior designer, is very, very low risk. And that's why this offer works very, very well. It's, you know, it's not rocket science, it's nothing that complicated, but you need, the difference between something like this and just saying we offer interior design services is absolutely enormous. If you're a service provider, particularly if you offer a high-end service, obviously like an interior design company does, go ahead and use something like a free consultation. Okay, otherwise, this ad is very, very straightforward. So the first thing you'll notice is that um, it is the image. It's the first thing most people notice in a, in a Facebook ad. Now, the image shows off a very nicely designed kitchen that, uh, that this interior design company did. And if you're a portfolio-based company, it's very straightforward. You want to include some of your best images in your Facebook ads uh, to demonstrate the work that you've done. That's what people are going to want to... That's why people are going to want to work with you. They're going to want to see what you've done previously, and that's why they're going to hire you. So if you're portfolio-based, you know, interior designers, anything to do with graphic design, um, if you create anything visual or provide a visual service for your clients, go ahead and stick your images in there. Keep it simple. Moving on to the copy. So we started with what's called the call-out method. So we've got here moving house, redecorating, both in question marks. And what that does is that someone's when they're scrolling through their Facebook news feed, it pops up with moving house, redecorating. That's going to catch their eye if, in fact, they are moving house or redecorating. They're going to go, oh, yes, that's me, and they're going to read on. Then they'll see, we'll design a beautiful interior for your home and manage the project for you. So we've got the call-out method, and then we've immediately followed that up with some simple benefits. So we'll design a beautiful interior for your home. That's a massive benefit of the service this company provides. And we'll manage the project for you. So there's no hassle, no stressful, uh, no, no stressful, no hassle, no hassle, no stress. Uh, I almost said that. Um, and we'll manage the project for you. That's another great benefit that people are going to want. Very, very straightforward. Very, very simple. This is a low risk introductory offer. We don't need reams and reams of copy. We just need to let them know, sign up for the free consultation, no obligation, really simple for you to do. That'll start a conversation and we can progress it from there. We've got the very simple call to action button of sign up, and then we've got one to free consultation with our award-winning designers as the newsfeed link description. Very straightforward. Again, emphasizing another benefit, they're award-winning designers. This company's done some great work um, and in convincing people to take action. And that's it. Super, super simple ad. If you are a service provider, particularly for a, offer a high-end service, model from this ad, it's likely to do very well for you. Okay, so scrolling down. So when if you do go ahead and download this uh 
five part Facebook ad template, by the way, guys, then you can go through some more information that I'm covering here. Um, but I've got that all written out for you. So the second uh, business that we're going to look at is also a you know, a local slash service business. In this case, it is a gym studio. In fact, we worked with a, uh, a gym franchise here, a number of locations, and they really wanted to push their free personal training service, uh, free personal training, not their free personal training. They really wanted to push their personal training services. So coming back to what I mentioned previously about the offer being massively important, the first thing we, we decided was that we were going to offer a free personal training session. So you can Come book a free personal training session with someone. You can have that initial session. And if it works well, you can then go on to book a block of 10 or sign an ongoing monthly commitment or something like along those lines to become a client. A lot of business owners I speak to are reluctant to give these sorts of offers. But, you know, we work with dozens of companies. We run so many Facebook ad campaigns. Giving a strong offer is the most important thing to a Facebook ad campaign. I cannot emphasize that anymore, particularly if a service-based business. And there's a lot of me too businesses out there. I mean, how many different personal trainers are there in different gym companies that offer personal training? A huge amount. How are you gonna differentiate yourself? Very, very difficult to do. But if you can offer something for free, demonstrate how good your service is, how good your personal trainers are, then they can go on to become a customer. Okay, so let's go through this again. So in the headline, very, very simple. We've just told them what the offer is. For a service business, that's what you want to do. Free, in capitals, grab their attention, personal training sessions, straightforward. Then moving on to the image. Here, all we've used, this is not actually an image taken from uh, the company we worked with. This is just a stock image that we um, took from um, Facebook's partnership with Shutterstock. You can take a load of bunch of stock images. If you don't have a lot of imagery yourself, this company didn't have that much imagery. Um, you can use something like this that demonstrates uh, you know, whatever it is that you're looking to do. So if you go into, when you create your Facebook ads, just click on the little, when you're looking to add images, just click on the little stock button at the top. You can then browse the options that might work for you. If you do have your own images, they tend to work better, but there are times when you don't, in which case you can use something like that. Okay, moving on to the copy. Again, it's pretty straightforward and we're using some of the similar tactics. So we're not sort of using the call out method here as such. Instead, we're really grabbing people's attention, absolutely letting them know what this ad is all about. Free personal training session. There's no doubt about if you're scrolling through your Facebook newsfeed, you are going to see that. Then we then we use a modified version of the call out method. We say ever used a personal trainer. Now we want to work with people primarily that haven't worked with personal trainers before. That's the people we want to attract with this ad because if they've worked with a personal trainer, they're probably either still working with them or they didn't have a great experience, in which case they're unlikely to be a good prospect anyway. So we've got ever used a personal trainer grab people's attention. That's going to get people's attention who have maybe thought, should I use a personal trainer? Should I not? Um, they've been pondering it for a while. Oh, no, I haven't, but I have been thinking about it. Then we go on. Right now, we're offering free personal training sessions with one of our expert personal trainers. So we're explaining the offer in a bit more detail. Um, one of our expert personal trainers, we're including a benefit. You know, our personal trainers aren't ordinary, standard, they're expert. Now is the time to commit to your fitness goals and one-to-one -one training with an expert will really help you get results. So part of that was um, seasonal. So we launched this campaign, I think in January. Um, so now being the time to commit to your fitness goals is obviously quite topical. One-to-one uh, -to -one training with an expert will really help you get results. So again, emphasizing the benefit of the service, not necessarily the free personal training session, but of the service as a whole, help you get results, commit to your fitness goals. And then we end with a call to action. Click the sign up button to secure your free personal training session. So a very, very straightforward ad. We are letting people know exactly what it's for. We're identifying the sort of people we want to touch, that we want to pay attention to this ad. We're emphasizing the benefits that this service provides. And then we've got a call to action. Call to action button here is sign up again. And then we've got click the button to sign up for a free session. If you're using an ad like this in the newsfeed link description, I like to go with a simple uh, call to action that reminds people the action that we want them to take. Very straightforward ad, but it worked very, very well. Again, one of the things I should mention with both of those ads I've just covered, the service-based businesses, is that you could afford to pay quite a bit per lead and it still be a very profitable Facebook ad campaign. In the case of the interior design company, um, their, oh, I won't scroll all the way up, their average customer value is something like £50,000. A lot, a lot of money. So if you're paying even £100 per lead, it's still very profitable. We almost come in under that, but it's still very profitable. With this, if you look at the lifetime customer value of a personal training client, I think it was around £1,500, something like that. Because um, obviously people stay for years. In which case, again, if you're spending, you know, 10 let's say maybe $20 per lead, it's still very, very profitable for you. So just keep that in mind when you're running your, your Facebook ad campaigns for service-based businesses. Okay, moving on to a new category. We'll put these service-based businesses behind and we'll have a look at e-commerce product businesses. 
So here's an example. Um, we've had to modify this a bit to not demonstrate the company's actual information, but it's very similar to the ad that we ran. So I'm going to change up the order slightly with this one. This one's an online bakery, so they sell you know cakes and, and things like that, as you can see. Now, the first part I'm going to focus on with this ad is the image. Making an image very colorful where possible is a great way to grab people's attention. And this image does a great job of that. It's also very emotive. Anything with food, um, that sort of type of product, you want it to be image heavy, you want really to grab people's attention, make them feel hungry. Um, so again, if you're a product-based company and you've got products that you're looking to sell, you obviously want to include your products where possible in your ad imagery. Fairly straightforward there, but choose the ones that are likely to really stand out as we've done here. Then we take a look at the headline. We've got mouthwateringly good, low calorie cakes. So we've mentioned what the product is. It's a low calorie cake, um, but we've really emphasized the benefits of the stuff. So they're low calorie, which is something a lot of people are interested in. They're also mouthwateringly good. Very, very tasty. That's a fantastic headline that's going to um, make people want to find out more about whatever it is, is that's being offered. Okay, now we've got some more information up here in the copy section. So our signature rainbow cake smothered in white chocolate buttercream frosting and topped with fresh fruit, dot, dot, dot. But the best bit, so we're talking about what the product is. We mentioned that. Always important to do that. I see Facebook ads that make that mistake. But then we're really talking about the benefits and we're really sort of getting a motive copy in there. Smothered in white chocolate buttercream frosting and topped with fresh fruit. If that's the sort of thing you're into, that's really going to hold your attention. But the best bit, it's only 150 calories per slice which is not a lot at all, and we're currently offering a 10% discount. You can see that we've got lots of emojis in here. We end with seriously, click now, click shop now to brighten up your day. So the tone of that copy is very fun. It's very playful. It's very much um, on brand with a company that sells fun, low calorie cakes and biscuits and cookies and things like that. Um, you, that's important. We couldn't use something, this sort of tone copy for the interior design company. It wouldn't really fit. People want to know that whoever's going to be renovating their home is a serious outfit um, and doesn't have the same thing. But someone that's sending you cakes that aren't going to cost very much, you can afford to be fun and playful, and you should be if that's your brand. Moving down, as with most uh, e-commerce companies, we're going to use Shop Now because we want people to click through and buy directly. And one thing I should also mention is that we're offering a 10% discount. If you're selling products through Facebook ads, if you can offer a discount, even if it's just a small one, like 10%, it does improve the results from your campaign. Now, obviously, that's going to eat into your margin, so you have to factor that in. But um, I really like to offer a discount where possible. So we've stated the discount up here in the copy. We've also got it down in the link, newsfeed link description, but we've also mentioned limited time only. With your Facebook ads, you want to try and convince people to take action now where possible. You don't want to put in fake urgency, fake scarcity, but if there is a, a limited time only discount like this one was, then make sure that's in there because what you don't want people going is, oh, that looks great. I'll come back and do it tomorrow because there's a good chance they won't do it tomorrow. They'll put it off, put it off, forget about it and not end up doing it. You want them to act now and these sorts of things can help convince people to do so. Okay, so that's the first of two examples in the e-commerce slash product space. Here we've got an online shoe retailer as our second example let's scroll down so here we've used um, a carousel based ad which can be a great option with e-commerce companies carousels as you can see allow you to create cards that feature separate products um, now these cards um, are interactive so people you can't really see it here but if you were to see a carousel ad you can click on this little arrow and you can scroll through the various options I'm going to show you in a second that has some advantages because instead of just sort of passively consuming it Users can go in, take a look, and see all this sort of stuff. They can also see a number of different products. So instead of having to pay multiple times to advertise a bunch of different products, you can advertise once and show all these different products, uh, and people can choose between different options. So for shoe-based companies that have lots of different um, types of products and, and things like that, different people are going to be different stuff, test the carousel format. A lot of e-commerce companies want to test the carousel format. It may work better than static image. It may not, but it's worth a test. So I'll just quickly show you sort of how this works. So obviously we've kind of taken screenshots here of, of the different cards that go along. So we've got these in here. If you scroll across, you'd see these options in here, scroll across further, et cetera, et cetera. So then we've got five options in here and that's normally the sort of thing we'd have, about five different products in a carousel ad. 
And what you want to do in your copy, I'll start there first with a carousel ad, is make sure the benefits that you mention are generic to your product range as opposed to product specific because they won't make sense. So here we've got men's real leather shoes made in the UK starting from only £45. So that applies to all the product range. Keep it short, keep it sweet. Most of the selling of a Facebook ad, a Facebook carousel ad for an e-commerce company is gonna happen here. So of course with the images, you just wanna include some of the best images of your products. Try and make them fun and interesting like we've done here, different styles, different um, different uh, aspects of the, of the products. You don't want sort of shoes that are all of the same um, direction, if that makes sense. With the headlines, you want to describe uh, the products. Again, if you can include um, some benefits in here without it going too long, fantastic, but don't worry if not. Call to action button is very, very straightforward, is shop now. And then with this, it's really finding the right combinations of products that people are likely to be interested in. You can run these sorts of ads, you can see you know, what are people clicking through and purchasing, make adjustments, test other, uh, other products and things like that. This ad performed very, very well and carousel ads in general can perform very, very well. They're also quite good at increasing your average order value because people will see let's say a couple of different pairs of shoes in this case. So when they click through, they might not just buy the one, they might go ahead and buy this one, but also this one that they saw that they like the look of. So that can increase your average order value and can really help. So when you're looking at your metrics in your Facebook ad account, at your static image ads versus your carousel ads, don't just look at cost per purchase. Make sure you compare it to your return on ad spend. You can have a look at that within your Facebook ad account. Um, ROAS is, is what it's referred to, return on ad spend. Because what you might find is your cost per purchase with your carousel ads is higher, but each purchase is worth significantly more because they've been uh, shown multiple products. And then of course, just make sure that each time they click through each card, they go through to that product page on the website. That's really important. Okay, so another example there. And again, you can go through the, the information here. So we've covered local slash service businesses, we've covered product and e-commerce businesses. Now the third category, we've got two ad examples to take a look at, is in the digital slash information product um, arena. So the first example is for the five part Facebook ad template, which is what I'm showing you right now. As I said, you can download it right now for free. Just click on the link in the video description. Now this is a lead magnet. We are giving this away for free in exchange for people to either join our email list or our Facebook Messenger subscriber list, depending on how we've got it set up. So if you're interested in either of those, obviously check that out. Um, so yeah, so we want people to opt in for this five-part Facebook ad template. And the way we've primarily advertised that on Facebook is with a Facebook video ad. Now, I'm not gonna go into this too much detail here. I have fully broken this video ad down and I have gone through every single component part. I'll include another link in the video description to that video. So if you are interested in using Facebook video ads specifically, wondering what to include, how to structure them, what to use them, I explain it all in that video. Go and check that out. I will quickly mention here, when do you want to use a Facebook video ad? Now, a lot of Facebook advertising experts will say, just use video all the time. It's great. That's not the case. Absolutely not the case. It's actually less the case now in 2019 than it was um, a couple of years ago. A lot of successful Facebook ads now come from static image ads, or use the static Im image format, use the carousel format, um, and various other things. The issue with Facebook video ads is that you have a huge amount of people drop off whilst they're watching your video. Now, if people need to consume a lot of content before they're ready to take the action that you want them to take, then it can be great, go ahead and use a video. Otherwise, I actually prefer to use static image and carousel image ads. Now, the reason why we've used the video here and why the video works so well is because in order for people to want to download my five-part Facebook ad template, they need to know that I know what, the, what I'm talking about with Facebook ads, otherwise, the Facebook ad template's useless. If they don't think I'm an expert, it's useless. So we need to demonstrate my expertise. Uh, we also need to tell them exactly what to do to get it, because it's not obvious. You need to go through to our website, you need to download it, etc., etc. So where you need to convey more information to get people to take action, use a Facebook video ad. Also, you need to assess your average customer value. So we, the primary uh, revenue that we generate for our own business is done for you Facebook advertising services. Now our average customers are worth thousands and thousands of pounds to us when we are delivering that service. So we can afford to pay quite a lot to generate customers. If your average customer value is higher, you're more likely to see success with Facebook video ads because as I said, more people drop off. So these are the scenarios when you want to use it, when you've got high average customer values and when you need to um, demonstrate expertise, provide value to get people to take action. When we're selling cakes, you don't need to demonstrate expertise. You don't need to provide value, you just need to show how good the cakes are. 
But if you're offering, you know, if you're trying to position yourself as an expert, then absolutely you need to use video ads. Okay, with that said, I'll quickly explain some of the text. So we've used a very controversial title here. Uh, while you're wasting your time with Facebook, we knew that would grab our audience's attention and it did. So what we've got here is we've reiterated that right up at the top of the copy. If you're trying to promote your business on Facebook, then you're probably wasting your time. And in this video, I explain why and what you need to do to actually get results. So in the first part, I'm grabbing their attention. In the second part, I'm explaining the benefits of watching this video because obviously that's what I want people to do. Um, and, and I'm sort of trying to convince them to stay on and watch it to the end. Then I talk about the call to action, which is what I talk about at the end of the video, which is all about downloading the five part Facebook ad template. So a very, very simple ad. You can see this worked very, very well. You know, tens of thousands of views, lots of shares, comments, and positive reactions, which is fantastic. As I said, if you wanna find out more about that video, check out the link in the video description and go through that in detail. It is well worth doing. The video is only three minutes long, but I really break it down. We really approach our video ads very scientifically now. We've got a great formula that works very, very well. Okay, moving on to the next example. The final example is we've got here a remote services app. So this is a, an app where people can provide services to each other in another location where they haven't previously got um, any sort of connection with each other. Um, if that makes sense. So let's say you want someone to show you something in another location or provide you know, a service in a completely different location, then this is what um, this app was designed for. So obviously there's two sides to this app. There's finding people that want to hire people. There's also finding people that want to provide their services. Now this um, ad is primarily designed to attract people that want to sell their services. Um, so that's what we used. So let's go through this example uh, to finish. So we've got for the headline, monetize your skills and expertise remotely. Benefit rich headline doesn't really explain what this is about. We'd use that in the copy, but it's very benefit rich. Who doesn't want to monetize? Who doesn't want to make money off their expertise and their skills remotely without having to travel into an office or go anywhere? Sounds fantastic. That helps grab people's attention. The image absolutely backs that up. Who doesn't love the idea of earning money and working whilst in this beautiful tropical looking location, just sat there with a laptop? It's idyllic, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I believe this is a stock image that we took again. So this is another example of the sort of thing, place you can find images. So the image and the headline are really establishing the benefits of what this is all about. Because this is a little bit more of a complex thing, let's say a cake, we want to explain what is going on in the copy. So here we've got, want to monetize your skills and expertise without having to go anywhere? It's the sort of question that's gonna get people who read this to say yes. That's absolutely what I want, which is a good idea because then they're gonna read on. With the, obviously we've blanked out the name of the app, you can use your smartphone to provide services remotely. Connect with people through live video or chat and help them solve their problems for a fee from the comfort of your own home. Whether you're a plumber, computer expert, translator, etc., there's a market for you. So what we're doing here is we're explaining the offer, we're explaining how this works, we're explaining the benefits, so from the comfort of your own home. We're also um, addressing some of the concerns people may have. So let's say a plumber or a, you know, a translator reads this and they go, you know, okay, well that's not for me because you know, a plumber wouldn't be on this sort of, or, or you've got a business, you know, you offer services similar to that. Well, actually there's probably a lot of people that would like that, you know, they've got simple tasks that they don't have to do themselves around the home. They could quickly use this app, um, call them, uh, call an expert plumber and say, how do I fix this? Here's the video. And they go, oh yeah, you need to just do this, this, this and that. Fantastic, good to go. So we're overcoming some of the objections and saying there's a market for you no matter what industry you're in, go ahead and sign up because that's what we want people to do. And then we end with a call to action. Download the, the app now and find new customers today. Then obviously with the call to action, we've got use app, fairly self-explanatory for uh, an app installs campaign, which is what this was. And this did very, very well. Generated app installs for not a lot of money at all. I think we were looking around about um, a pound, maybe a pound 10, something like that in the UK, which in 2019 is very cheap and shows that this was a very successful Facebook ad. So hopefully this video has been very useful. If it has, please give it a thumbs up. That'd be very much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you're notified whenever I release um, new videos. Go ahead and download this five-part Facebook ad template. Click on the link in the video description. If you've got any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And if you are looking for more help with your Facebook ad campaigns, if you're interested in having a company create, manage, and optimize your campaigns for you and deliver better results by doing so, then we can almost certainly help with that. Check out the bottom of the video description. There'll be a link in there um, 
that has the details about our services, how you can find out more and all that sort of stuff. So if you are looking for our Facebook ad services, make sure you check that out and I will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.